Twitter and main we are live. Are we live? We live? We live? Bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. Euh, Est-ce que vous me voyez? Est-ce que vous m'entendez? Est-ce que euh, tout est clair Bon après-midi. Bonjour Richab, euh, Samir et Richard B. Bonjour tout le monde de ma péniche sur le lac plaisant près de Phoenix, Arizona. Ah, uh, well, what can I say I want to be there too. Uh, oh, <laughs> look, we've highlighted your comments. It's so cool. I'm not jealous at all. At all. Uh, not that I have a jealous uh, nature, but uh, in this case, I am. Bonjour, Dex en Provence. Si, I'm jealous. And by the way, uh, I am coming to the south of France soon in Avignon. If you don't know what the festival of Avignon is in the south of France, do it one day. If you ever have the possibility to go to, to France. So if you guys are in the south of France, you can meet me in Avignon uh, from uh, th Saturday. I will be there, not performing. Uh, just being there in the audience for things. Anyway, bonjour tout le monde. Today we, bonjour, bonjour et plus là, Elsa. Bonjour à tout le monde. I just wanted to thank our two new members. And we have Colette, love that name. Colette Green and, uh, and Julie, Julie Slater. Uh, they have joined our memberships. And Julie has joined the video guides, which means that uh, she will be able to uh, have access to the guides to all exclusive videos and videos that we post on YouTube. And Colette access the Discord chat. Cool. You can ask us anything on the Discord chat. We will do a video of how to access the Discord chat, but it's a private Learn French with Alexa uh, chat. So you can talk to every member of my team, isn't it? We will answer any questions that you have. You can meet people that are learning French on this platform too. Bonjour tout le monde. And I can see I have as well uh, people that are already subscribers of my website, Learn French with Alexa. Uh, but today it's an open life. That means it's anybody, anybody can uh, watch uh, this video. We are going to learn about the passé composé. We are going to have a look at a series of examples, okay? Um, and we are going to work on them. Uh, bonjour chez Madame Nick Saint Laurent, Alexa. Je suis Ori de Macédoine. I love the lectures and your humor. You are a wonderful person. Nick, merci. On va être gentil, toi. Merci. And Macedonia is definitely a country I would like to visit. Okay, Copia. Copia is it the capital? Cop Copcha, Copcha. Uh, hi, greetings. So, bonjour, Corto. Here's another member. Okay, on commence, on commence, on commence. And here is my lesson. I'm going to run through what a passé composé is before we do this. Okay, so before we do this, I am going to run you through the passé composé, okay? We might not have time to do all of this because I've got a private life. When I mean private life is for the paying customers, okay? For the people that pay for the membership and online, I teach privately. So this is at 12.30 today, right after this open life, I will teach uh, exclusively for the members of Learn French with Alexa. Okay, so, uh, on va commencer. Here we go. Le passé composé, c'est quoi? You know what the passé composé, and you always ask me, well, what's the difference between the imparfait and the passé composé? Well, they're two very distinct past tenses. Now, le passé composé is a past tense as well as the imparfait, but it's when you talk about an action that is finished by the time you talk about it. For example, I fed the cat. Well, that's done, isn't it? So the tense you must use in French would be the passé composé. Not the imparfait, because the imparfait would be I was feeding the cat when something else happened. Okay, the passé composé is an action that is gone, done, over, with, okay? And how is it formed? It is formed of two things. Either the auxiliary verb être or the auxiliary verb avoir. And they are conjugated in the present tense. But the difference is that you add 
your verb as a past participle. For example, you want to say, I fed the cat because it's a past tense that's happened and is gone, done over with. Then you would translate it in French as a passé composé with an auxiliary. I have fed, past participle, the cat. But I'm going to teach you how to do that in a moment. In a moment. Oh, we've got the other Ma Macedonian, Maridia, Maridia, as well. Oh, that's interesting. I love that you come from all over the world. I absolutely adore that. Have you seen my live on Instagram yesterday? It was crazy. People from Cambodia, people from India, people from all over the show, you know, love that. Anyway, in order to create your passé composé, you must absolutely must know how to conjugate être in the present tense and avoir in the present tense because the passé composé, passé composé, will have these guys plus a past participle or these guys plus a past participle. Okay? So, je suis, tu es, il est, on est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Sounds like a rap song. Okay? And then you add your verb, except that you use the past participle of that verb, which I'm going to teach you how to do in a minute. Okay? Être, avoir, same. I have, you have. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont, plus the past participle. Okay? So when we talk about past participle, we talk about regular past participle poles and non-regular ones. Okay? For example, here, for the first group verbs of ER or ER verbs, okay, such as manger, you drop the R and you add an accent. So have a look at manger. I drop the R and I added an accent. So if you wanted to say I ate, you would transform it as I have eaten. J'ai mangé. Quite simply. So these are regular past participle, okay? So now for the IR verbs, okay, the past participle, it transforms as just an I. So what you do, you drop the R. You don't put an accent, you drop the R. So same here, if you wanted to say I chose, you would say I have chosen. J'ai choisi. Okay, quite simple. When it becomes extremely hard is all verbs except for, you know, ER and IR. So R, E, O, I, R and some, unfortunately, IR verbs are belonging to the third group verbs. Okay, so for IR or RE verb, for example, the past participle is U. It ends with U. For example, vendre to sell vendu. So you want to say, I have sold my car. J'ai vendu. That's a past participle. Ma voiture. Okay. Um, uh, I saw my friend. J'ai vu mon ami. Okay. So all these third group verb, and I teach a lot uh, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on conjugation in the channel, in the course, in everything. And by the way, talking about the course, uh, soon it's Bastille Day and uh, we have 20% uh, off, I think, on the course. Yeah, yay, Bastille Day, Serge, you know. Um, I'm just putting my little publicity here while I'm at it. Okay. So, Bassan, j'ai mangé une orange. Absolutely. Une orange is a passé composé. Okay. Uh, okay. Again, is preparing for the A2 exam. Bravo. Shout out, please. Name. Learn French with sunshine. Hey. Hello, class of number six. Learn French with sunshine. <laughs> Ok, je suis membre de TEF plus Alexa, s'il vous plaît, pouvez-vous aider à écrire l'article argumentatif Parul, there is a whole section on that, but we are taking account uh, your uh, comment here, because we are working, as you see, it's still in beta tester mode, so we are testing things. Any feedback like that, please Parul, 
write to us at support at learn French with Alexa and give us feedback of the TEF course. It's very important. We want to make it best for you. Okay, so good question. Okay, but there are videos and there are uh, a lot, hundreds of examples of how to argument in the writing exam. Okay, um, so A level, Emily Ward, I'm studying A level French next year. Thank you. Oh, Emily, does it mean that you've just passed your GCSE uh, or taken your GCSE more like? Okay, so when do you choose être? Or when do you choose avoir? Okay, because you must know both auxiliary verbs. Well, you use être when you have a reflexive verb. And again, I've done lots of videos on reflexive verbs and movement verbs. Again, I've done videos on movement, movement verbs, such as uh, descendre, to go down, partir, to leave, aller, to go. So these are movement verbs, okay? And we use them in the passé composé with the auxiliary verb avoir, être, être, not avoir. The rest is avoir. For example, elle est allée. She went. Okay? Do you see what happened? So she has gone, really, in French, is she is gone, okay? Because it's a movement verb. Elle est allée chez sa mère ce weekend. She went to her mother this weekend okay and what you will notice is that because i'm using a it's an auxiliary to be we have to agree in gender and number the past participle i've added an e because it's feminine okay and because i'm using être for avoir it doesn't work like that we don't have to add an extra E. Why is that? Because we're using the auxiliary avoir and not être. So with avoir, elle a acheté des fleurs. She has bought flowers. Okay? J'ai abonné à tes cours. Uh, oh, Clara, tu t'es abonné à mes cours. Please, Clara, let us know how you're getting on. It's very important to have feedback. Okay. Alish, j'ai sorti la poubelle. Why choose avoir? Okay. Alish, it's not on my list of things to do, but I'm going to answer this question because that's a clever one. I mean, all your questions are clever, by the way. Uh, Emily, I've just finished my DCC. French went really well. Your lessons are amazing. Hey, Emily. Okay. J'ai sorti. Now, sorti definitely is a verb that you can use with both auxiliaries. Avoir or être. Je suis sorti. So if you're a girl, you add an E, okay? Now, when do you use one rather than the other? It's quite simple when it comes with a complement, okay? I have taken out what? La poubelle, okay? Okay, so because you have a complement to that verb, then you must use avoir, okay? Because then it's not you doing it. It's actually the action of taking the bin and taking it outside. However, if you had used that as yourself, taking yourself, so je suis sorti, then suddenly you have to use être, okay? Je suis sorti. You can't say je suis sorti la poubelle, can you? Okay, so that's the difference. Have I answered, Alish, your uh, question. I really want to get on with, uh, with my thing. So here we go. Let's do some um, uh, examples and see whether we manage um, to uh, to learn as we go along. Our class is our class watch always watch these kinds of lessons of yours. Merci, Madame. Give a shout out to our uh, section. Luc, Jules, Prof. Uh, yes, hey, shout out to Luc, uh, your class. Excellent. I'm amazed that uh, j'apprends le français en Inde. Hello to India. Uh, uh, excellent. So, here we go. Numéro 1. Elle, and the verb we want to conjugate in the passé composé is partir hier. So, hier is an indicative that the action is happening yesterday. Okay, so it's definitely passé composé. 
How are you going to do that? You've got to identify whether the verb is a movement verb, reflexive verb, or just a normal verb, and then identify whether you need then an auxiliary to be or to have. So, elle est partie. Elle est partie. Michaela. Michaela. Uh, comment se préparer au Delph? Ah, uh, yeah, glad I got this live. I'm <laughs> just doing passé composé today. There you go. Elle est partie. Clara, bravo. Elle est partie. Critica. Elle est partie hier. And this Fiona, I can see some names that I'm going to see during my exclusive live at 12.30. I can see some names here. Okay. So, elle est partie. Superb. Okay. Why is it elle est partie and not elle a partie? A, because partir belongs to these movement verbs. Okay. So, it has to be used with the être. Now, with elle, if you want to say she is, it's a, okay? And now we need to identify the past participle of that verb. I am giving it to you as its infinitive form. We want to transform that infinitive into its past participle. Quite simple, for partir, you drop the R. And weirdly, it's not a second group. It's not regular at all, partir. Partir is a movement verb? Absolutely, Elsa. Partir is a movement verb. Now, Elsa, if you do not know the list of the movement verb, there's 17 verbs. Easy to learn. You have to learn this acronym. Mr. and Mrs. Van den Trump. Van der Trump. Van Van der Trump. <laughs> doctor and Mrs. Mrs. and Dr. Van der Trump. And each... A uh, letter, Mrs. or D, Doctor, D-R, correspond to, uh, to, oh, yes, thanks, Dr. Van Dam. Okay, so each letter corresponds to a verb. Okay, for example, uh, A is arrivé, uh, R is uh, resté, A is allé, uh, M is mourir, I think, uh, etc., etc. So please learn them by uh, by heart. Dr. and Mrs. Elsa, yes. À Chouani, grâce à vos chaînes, je peux rafraîchir mon français. J'enseigne le français à mes cousins qui sont étudiants. Oh. Okay, say hello to your cousins. Uh, okay. Um, alors, elle est partie. Now, we need to add an E here. Because what did I say? I said, if you are using être, you must agree this with this, with this, okay? So it's all linked together. And this is what makes French difficult, okay? It, it makes French difficult because you have to think, okay, am I using a feminine, a masculine, a feminine plural, a masculine plural? Everything counts, okay? Based on, there is 16 verbs in French that are conjugated. Okay, okay, thank you, Sam. Sorry, didn't get it right. Okay, I did say 17. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the next one. So, elle est partie hier, she left yesterday. Let's have a look at Matteo. Matteo, and the verb we want to do is choisir de rentrer l'année prochaine. Okay, Matteo, choisir de rentrer l'année prochaine. Now, what would be this sentence using the passé composé? Uh, Tanzani, hey, we learned with this strange phrase, pass Moorish descent gives him, oh, descent's going to go too fast. Okay, so Matteo a choisi, pass Moorish descent gives him, okay, Matteo, sorry, <laughs> pass Moorish descent gives him a venturesome sort of nature. Okay, Lauren, you'll have to explain to me how that works. I can't see any of the verbs in there. Uh, but I'm sure there is a logic to that. Okay, so a choisi is the right, absolutely. Matteo a choisi de rentrer l'année prochaine. Bravo, Cal. Bravo, uh, bravo, uh, Heila. Bravo, Richard. A choisi. So, choisir is not a movement verb. It's not a reflexive verb. So, I'm using it with the auxiliary avoir. Matteo a. Why is it a? Because it's il a. 
If you replace Matteo by the subject pronouns, it's il. So il a, he has, he has chosen. So choisir is a second group verb. All we need to do is drop the a. Il a choisi de rentrer l'année prochaine. He has chosen to come home next year. Or de rentrer, to enter, to return, rentrer. OK. Uh, OK, Matteo a choisi. Yeah, well done. Groove with ne Hey, bonjour. Hi. OK, can you do the next one? The verb we want is acheter. And we want to use that in the passé composé. Je, j'ai acheter ses robes dans un magasin de seconde main. Oh, hello, my honey. Good afternoon. Hello, my honey. <rire> j'ai acheté, très bien. Alors, j'ai acheté des robes dans un magasin de seconde main. Bravo. Yes, c'est ça. Bravo. Très bien. OK. So, how do we do that? You must identify with auxiliary verb you want. Être ou avoir, in this case, it's avoir. Acheter is not part of the movement verb, okay? And this piona, j'ai acheté. So, j'ai. And then, acheter is quite simple. Have a look at that. It's an ER verb, regular. We drop the R and we add an accent. So, critica, j'ai acheté ces robes. Bravo. Okay? So, j'ai acheté. Now, well done, you. You're doing so well. Lorraine. Oh, yeah, it's the sentence. Partir, mourir, descendre, sortir, net. Yeah, uh, was well, strange. Yeah, it is strange, isn't it? Okay, so, well, thanks for that. Uh, I'll have a look at the sentence again, see whether that makes sense. Um, J'ai acheté ces robes. Okay, so that means I bought. I bought. Okay, this is passé composé. These dresses in a shop or in a second-hand shop, seconde main. OK, j'ai acheté ces robes. Can you see that? Now we can have a lesson if you want on uh, the, uh, this uh, demonstrative one day. It's, uh, yeah, it would be nice actually. OK, so the next one, we are doing well. We might finish it. We might finish it. This one, I want you to use the negation. This is a hard one, this one. And I would like you to use revenir as the verb. OK, so think about which verb auxiliary we need. Charlotte, and then ne pas revenir hier, je suis inquiète. I am worried. Charlotte did not come back yesterday. Okay, is Charlotte a cat? I'm hoping it's an animal and not a real person. <laughs> okay, so what is it? Now, you've got two difficulties here, the cho choosing, no, three. What auxiliary? What past participle am I going to use and how to use it with a negation? Okay, am I right to think that? Okay, so there is lots to think about. So, Vivian n'est pas revenue. Charlotte n'est pas revenue. Cal n'est pas revenue. Chris, Charlotte n'est pas revenue hier, je suis inquiète. Okay, uh, revenu. Uh, Dispionnat, that's right. N'est pas revenu. Okay, so some good, uh, right. So, let's have a look. Okay. Definitely, you're right. It's Charlotte n'est pas revenue. Okay, so what's happening is that revenir is a movement verb just like venir is to come. Okay, so revenir to come back. Okay, so we need to know what is the... I mean, do you know what? For this one, so Charlotte, okay, and we want to use revenir in the passé composé. Okay, it is used with the auxiliary être because revenir is a movement verb. So Charlotte. Now, because it's used with être, we need the auxiliary être. With Charlotte, it's a, l, a. Remember, replace your pronoun, your subject by the pronoun in order to know what, uh, what is the right uh, form of to be, okay, to use. So, and then you need to know the past participle. Okay, revenu. Okay, but because Charlotte is a girl, and because we are using être, we need to agree the past participle to that. So, Charlotte est revenue. Charlotte came back. However, we want to say that Charlotte did not come back. Okay, here you need to use ne and pas. When using a passé composé, the ne comes before the auxiliary 
and the pa right after. Okay, so ne and pa, ne and pa. Can you see that? Oh, makes no difference of color. Charlotte n'est pas revenue. Okay, so the pa comes before the past participle. Okay, so our oh, Elsa says, ah, a moment of realization. Ah, <laughs> I know now. It makes so much sense. Okay, well, I'm glad that there's a, a eureka moment. You know, it's it's what uh, learning is all about. Um, how to join your channel, Alexa? Oh, um, uh, mais je suis en train d'apprendre le vin. C'est un bon exercice. Okay, parasuka. Uh, sorry, I've. Did I say para, parasuko? Um, how to join the channel? Uh, well, all you have to do is click on the join button in my channel. There is a little subscribe or join. You click on the join and you see everything that I can offer uh, exclusively to the member. Okay, so hopefully you have that. Or if you want hundreds and hundreds of quizzes and exercise and worksheets and the proper modules, then join Learn French with Alexa, the channel, um, because it just happened that there is 20% of coming up next yeah. week. Huh? The, website. the website. Sorry, I'm, I'm ta-da! <laughs> okay, alors, <clears throat> Salma, do I have to pay? Yes. So the, the people that are on the uh, memberships get um, extra material that I post outside the channel. Uh, so yes, like the support guides are really useful. The access to my exclusive lessons uh, that is coming up at 12.30, by the way. <gasps> I must hurry because I've got only 30 minutes. So I must hurry. Uh, okay, so the exclusive live coming at 12.30, we are doing a reading exercise here. So, uh, be there or be square. Okay. No. Okay. So, Charlotte n'est pas revenue. Okay. So, we will have time to do one more. And if you can work out the next three, I will leave you for the next three. Uh, really, that's me after hitting my head against the wall, after making the same mistake. It's like, oh, yeah, no, I know the moment. You know, I understand completely. Uh, merci, Nick. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so let's have a look at boire because I want to finish with this one. The next two you can uh, try to do on your own. Now, boire is an interesting one because it's a third group verb, but also I want you to use beaucoup, a lot. So, you drank a lot. It's what I want to translate, okay? So, you drank a lot. How would you do that, okay? How would you do that? Uh, when should I open the 12.30? Is it at midnight? No, it's now, in 20 minutes. It's now, in 30 minutes, okay? So, how do you open it? If you're a member, uh, you go to the community and you will see the exclusive uh, link. Is that correct, Liam? Yeah. 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 If you're already uh, an exclusive uh, student on my uh, channel, no, website. website, sorry, ah, my website, then you click on the link that is given to you on the, all the live. So the live section, you go to the live and all the links, the private links are there for you. Um, Elsa, vous avez beaucoup bu. You talking to me? Yesterday? Mo in moderation. <laughs> yes, Elsa. Perfect. Well done. You get that. Vous avez beaucoup bu is exactly you drank a lot. And Alberta, vous avez bu beaucoup works, but not as well as vous avez beaucoup bu. So naturally, French people will put beaucoup between avez and bu. Okay, so vous avez beaucoup bu is exactly that. So the difficulty is knowing that boire in its past participle is bu. Okay, there are many verbs like that and I have done lots of videos on YouTube that you can watch for free um, where I give you the list of irregular verbs and what they are in their infinitive forms. Okay, so definitely. Losing it. 
Yes. Well, I'm losing it completely. Is there a membership exclusive for guidance for TEF exam? Yeah. Yes, there is. Uh, on the website, we are at the moment, we have produced this superb, massive, big TEF preparation course, you know. And so if you're taking the TEF, uh, let us know. It's C1 level, it's a high level with lots of quizzes that guide you through how to tackle the exams, you know, and the oral. There are de video demonstrations, there are um, tons and tons of support guides that will help you, guide you through uh, the exam. Okay, so I'm going to finish because I'm live in 30 minutes. Descendre, movement verb. That can be used as a non-movement verb, like descendre les poubelles. For example, I took the bins out. J'ai descendu les poubelles. But here, I came out of the train as in myself. I exited. So, nous sommes. Okay, we. Oui. No, nous sommes descendu du train. We exited from the train. Yeah, well done, Critica, Richard, Akona. Nous sommes descendu. Alors, no need for an E, uh, unless you know, you need an S no matter what, unless you know if nous, we are all um, girls, okay? So, well done, nous sommes descendu. And to finish, the last one, nous sommes descendu, well done. Les... <coughs> Les élèves, ok, ne pas comprendre. I just wanted to thank you, excellent guidance you provide on your website, students. I won a very good rank in French Olympiad. Merci. Ooh, excellent. Thank you. I have rejoined this morning. Will I got a message for the upcoming lesson? Alexa, Colette, you have rejoined on which uh, perk? It depends which perk you have uh, region and which level, okay? If uh, you have joined for the live, then you should get a notification on the website, on the channel, in the community. You will have a private link that will guide you to the next lesson, okay? Uh, thank you so much for this lesson. Emily, that's a pleasure. You know, it's a pleasure. I know how hard it was for you guys to do the GCSE this year because, hey, you've had two years of hell you know, in terms of teaching and missing schools and stuff. I know my, my boy is 16 as well and just finished it, GCSE. Um, okay, yeah, thank you. Oh my God, j'ai besoin de café early morning here in USA. Go, Jennifer, go. I'm dying to finish mine. It must get cold anyway. So the last one, les élèves n'ont pas compris, okay? So this one, n'ont pas now remember that the ne and the pa before and after the auxiliary and then the past participle. Comprendre the past participle is compris. People did not understand the homework. Okay? <coughs> and that's it. As it is, elle est partie hier. Matteo a choisi de rentrer l'année prochaine. J'ai acheté ses robes dans un magasin de seconde main. Charlotte n'est pas revenue hier, je suis inquiète. Vous avez beaucoup bu. Nous sommes descendus du train. Les élèves n'ont pas compris les devoirs. OK? So, how passé composé used in asking question? Ah, Masoud, that's such a good question. I can't answer this question now. Uh, but, quite simply... <coughs> See, I can't help it. Uh, for example, take this one, okay, and you want to transform that. Did you drink a lot, okay, last night? You would say, avez-vous, and then, beaucoup, bu. You see what I've done? Do you see how we've turned this into a question? Avez-vous beaucoup bu? Vous avez beaucoup bu. You start with the auxiliary, then the pronoun, then the past participle, okay? Okay, I'm going to have to stop here now. Two things you've got to remember. There is a special sale going on next week. Ta-da! Because it's Revolution Day. Okay, 14th of July. Um, and another thing is happening in 30 minutes. It's me again. If you've had enough, just <laughs> switch off. <laughs> but if you want more, just keep going. Have a coffee, which I'm going to have now.
and then I'll see you in 20 minutes. I love your shows. I mean, Eva, I sound like a comedian. <laughs> But you, they are maybe shows. It's the lessons you mean. Yeah, I love your shows. Lol. It's like entertainment, you know. Why would you pay for uh, any Netflix platforms or whatever when you can have Alexa for free? <laughs> okay. How to watch your private videos, Saima, either by being a member on the YouTube channel. It's not like a subscriber, it's a member, okay, a paying member. And it's not expensive, by the way. It's like, I don't know, $2.99? Yeah, yeah $2.99. It's not expensive as at all, you know, per month. And uh, But if you want the proper, you know, uh, proper channel, proper teaching, proper module, it's learn French with alexa.com okay slightly more expensive but there is millions more yeah thank you zaim zaim mohammadi thanks a lot <laughs> a pleasure au revoir à bientôt see you soon for the next lesson if uh, not uh, i see you into uh, no i don't know when the next life is au revoir à bientôt bisous bisous uh, can you greet my prof? His birthday is on Saturday. He always share your video in his class. Marlon! Marlon, happy birthday. Joyeux anniversaire à Marlon. Just show him this little clip, yeah? Joyeux anniversaire. Lots of love from all of us at Learn French with Elixir. Joyeux anniversaire, Marlon. Bisous. <laughs>